Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Tepig tin. This tin opening is part of my 30 Pokemon card tin opening series that I'm currently doing on YouTube. You'll find a link to that video series in the video description of this video. So this Tepig tin I bought from Collector's Cash and it was $14. The tin itself includes a Tepig holofoil card it includes, it includes a five card preview pack and four booster packs and one figurine. So I'll open it up here, show the artwork while the plastic's still on. I believe the other two preview tins also have the same artwork and then the only thing that differs is who's on the cover of the tin. This is the first tin that I've opened that has a figurine with it. I'm not that big a fan of figurines, but a friend of mine is a big collector of them. So sometimes I just give that person some of the figurines that I get and have them set up. So here's the Tepig promo card. Set that aside. Take a look at the packs and here's just a place that you can play mini games and whatnot. Now, the black and white preview packs are exactly the same cards, I believe, in every single pack. We can open it up anyways. Here is the Tepig figurine. I'll leave it sealed. Set it aside for now. Okay, so the booster packs inside. There's that preview pack, two Call of Legends, a Triumphant, and then a Supreme Victor. So a nice mix of packs. Maybe pull a shiny Legendary from the Call of Legends. We'll open up the preview pack first. I, I think these are the same cards in every one. We'll see when we open the next two tins. But here's Sandile, Pidove, Purloin, Patrat, and Lillipup. And these are from the black and white set. Okay, we'll go newest oldest here and start with Call of Legends. Shiny Hollow cards, or shiny legendary cards, my mistake, are pretty hard to pull from this set. Usually I think they're about one in two boxes, so it's going to be pretty hard to pull one in these two packs here. Okay, so we have Tangela, Clefairy, Teddy Ursa, Pineco, Hitmonlee, Bayleaf, Metal Energy, Magby, next card is the Reverse Hollow, and it is, is this a Shiny Legendary? You've got to be kidding me. It is a Rayquaza Shiny Legendary. That is an excellent card to pull, a great Ultra Rare. I actually don't think I have this card in my collection. That's very nice right there. Mint Condition straight out of the pack. Wow. And then the last card here is a Mr. Mime Non-Hollow Rare. But an excellent way to start off this tin opening with a Rayquaza Shiny Legendary card. Okay, on to the second Call of Legends pack. This one has Deoxys on the front. Move the rare and reverse all to the back. Okay, so this pack has Cyndaquil, Mawile, Eevee, Magikarp, Houndour, Croconaw, Dual Ball Trainer, Pidgeotto, Reverse Hollow, Cyndaquil, just a common card, and the rare in the pack. Oh, a Groudon Hollow. It's a nice Hollow card to get. One of my favorites from the set. Okay, on to the Heart Gold Soul Silver Triumphant pack. You can get Legend and Prime cards in these packs. Okay, first card, Volbeat. Then there is a Swinub, Ghastly, Magnemite, Carvana, Rescue Energy, Piloswine, Nidorina, Reverse Hollow. Is Victory Bell? Is that a rare? Yes, it is. And the actual rare in the pack is a Venomoth and is a hollow card. 
So great pull so far. Shiny Legendary Hollow Hollow. And on to the last pack. Supreme Victors. Garchomp on the front. What a Charizard G level X. Okay. So we have Ninkata. Rhyhorn. Baneri. Goldeen. Meowth. Hippopotas. Murkrow. Staravia. Reverse Hollow. Is a Marsh Tomp, and that's an uncommon card. The last rare card in this tin. Ooh, is an Absol G Hollow card. So extremely good pulls in this tin. I pulled four out of four. Hollow slash ultra rare cards. So I was quite happy with this tin. Hopefully the other two black and white preview tins have just as good of pulls. So thanks a lot everyone for watching. Before you go, make sure and check out all the links in the video description of this video. My blog, Facebook, and Twitter links. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.